now in this what we are going to see if the user is logged in okay if the user has already registered and if user is getting logged in then user should be redirected to payment page okay if the user is having some items in the cart then user should be redirected to payment page and if user is not having any items then the user should be redirected to profile page okay that is the user dashboard page now for that we are just going to write another query this query we have written to select the username from the user table now what i am going to write here i'll just write one comment i'll be writing here cart item now inside this i'll just copy the same thing here i'm just going to paste select star from i'll be writing the cart details table where first i have to get the user ip address first i'm just going to write ip address is equal to user ip user ip this variable i'm just going to create here i'll just write here user ip and inside this i'm just going to call this get function let me just come to functions for ip address we have already created this variable i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to assign whatever value i'm getting using this function that will be stored here and from cart tables i'm just checking if this ip address and if this ip address is getting matched that records i have to fetch now once i get this one i have to execute this i'll be writing here select cart and inside this i'm just going to pass this one my sql i query and this is going to take two parameters connection variable and this query variable let me just copy this one select query and here i'm going to paste okay here also i have passed select query here also i am here also i have written select query here also i am writing select query let me just change this one select query cart i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay don't get confused what we are doing i'm just accessing the cart items if the user has added some items then inside cart we will be having one ip address okay now inside user table also we are going to have one ip address so we are just going to match with that ip addresses if this user is getting logged in and if we are having some items inside the cart then we should be redirected to payment page if i am getting some result from here which means the user has added some items in the cart now i'm just going to count the number of rows so for that i'll just copy this one and below this i'm just going to paste now let me just change here row count cart i'll copy and here i'm just going to paste okay this is the query for selecting the items from the cart and this is the query for selecting the username from the user table now once it is done now i don't have to fetch any data now what i am going to do if this is true if this condition is true if i am having user inside the user table and also if the password is getting matched then i should be getting this message now instead of writing this message i am just going to check for another condition here i'll be writing if if this row count i'll copy this one if this row count if it is equal to 1 which means this both the conditions are true this is true and this is true if this is equal to equal to 1 again i'm just going to write another condition and using and operator i'm just going to count how many rows i got from here i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste if this is equal to equal to 0 which means the user is not having any items in the cart okay let me just explain you this is equal to if the user is present you can see if user is greater than 0 then i'm just checking for the password so inside this if if this both the conditions are true then i'm just checking if user is logged in and if row count is greater than 0 of cart items then user is not having any items in the cart then what i should be doing i should be writing this message i'll copy this one here i'm going to paste user is successfully logged in but the user should be redirected to profile page here i'm going to write echo and inside this i'll be writing here script tag i'll just close the script tag and also i'm just going to wrap inside double quotes now inside this first let me just write here window dot open i just have to open profile dot php okay that is user profile profile dot php and i have to open in the self tab so here i'll be writing self i'll save this i'll do control b now inside this users area itself i'm going to create that file i'll be writing here profile dot php okay this will be user dashboard page i'll come to user login okay this is the condition we have just written if the user is logged in and if the user is not having any items in the cart 
then I should be getting this message and I should be redirected to profile page else here I am going to write here else I will just copy the same thing here I will be pasting that one and inside this okay user is still logged in because this both the conditions are true if this is not true if this both the conditions are true then I will be checking for this condition if items are present inside the cart or not if this is true then I will be getting this one if this is not true then also I am successfully logged in because this both the conditions are true then instead of going to profile page I should be redirected to payment page which means the user has items in the cart so I should be redirected to payment page I'll just do control B now inside this Okay, inside root I have just created this payment page now what I am going to do I am just going to move to user area because this also belongs to user so I have just moved payment to user area now here I am having this one I will save this now inside this checkout.php you can see for this if set we have given this condition and from here also I am just removing this one because I have added this payment.php in the same level okay wherever I am having this checkout in the same level I am having this payment.php so I don't have to write double dot slash now again inside user login.php we have just checked for this conditions and we have written this query to select the items from the cart now I will save this I will refresh this one now let me just come to home page now you can see inside cart I am having one item I will click on cart I will click on checkout I am redirected to login page I will just write here Khanam. I will be writing 1, 2, 3, 4. Login. Okay, now here I am getting call to undefined because I have not included functions file. You can see I have not included that one. I will come to user registration. I am just going to copy this one. First, I have to include this connect as well as this functions. Only then I will be getting this output. I will paste this. Now I am just going to refresh this one. Now again I will be writing here Khanam. Password 1, 2, 3, 4. Login. Again, I got this warning. Undefined variable. Okay, sometimes it happens whenever we are writing. Okay, if you are not getting errors, then we will not learn anything. We should be getting errors and we should always try to solve this kind of errors. Now, you can see here I am getting undefined variable row count cart on line 66. I will come here. Now, on line 66, you can see I have created this row count. My SQLI num rows. And inside this, I have just passed this same variable again. Instead of this, I just have to pass this variable. Okay, whatever result variable we are having, that we have to pass. Now, I will refresh this one. Now, again, I am just going to log in. Khanam, password 1234, login. You can see login successful. Okay. I am redirected to payment page. Because user is having one item inside the cart. So, I am redirected to payment page. Now, again, I will come here. Now, I will just remove this item from the cart. Remove item. Cart is empty. Now, I will click on this login. Okay, I have not added the links. Let me just come to home page. Now, here I will just click on login. I am just going to login using Khanam. Password 1234. Login. Login successful. Okay, you can see I am redirected to profile page. If the user is having items in the cart, then user will be redirected to payment page or else user will be redirected to profile page. Okay, this is the condition we have checked. Next, what we are going to do? We are going to add proper links in each and every pages. Now, if I come to cart. Now, let me just add one item here. Add to cart. Okay. I will come to cart page. Now, when I click on checkout, you can see inside this, we are having all these things. We are having home, products, register. And also, I am not getting this logo here. Now, when I click on this login, I am not getting the login page. When I click on register, I am not getting register page. When I click on this home, I am not getting this particular page. Okay, we are going to add proper links to each and every page. Then next we are going to work on another sessions. Okay, let me just explain you whatever we have done. First, we have just checked for the username. We have executed the query and we have count the number of rows. And using this, we are just fetching the data. Why I am fetching the data? Because I want the password. Whatever hash password I am having, that password I need. And also I have included this one. We are having this include connect.php and functions.php. Then here I am just calling this function. I am storing inside this variable. Then I am selecting the items from the cart. Then I am executing this one. I am counting the number of rows. Okay, then I am just counting. Okay, this one. Okay, if this row count is greater, which means the user is present, then I am verifying the password. 
if both the conditions are true i am just checking for this two conditions if the user is logged in if the user is not having any items in the cart then the user should be redirected to profile page else user should be redirected to payment page okay if both if this condition is true if this condition is false then i'll be getting invalid credentials if this both the conditions are false then also i'll be getting this invalid credentials if this can if this first condition itself is false then also i'll be getting this invalid credentials and also we have to create login session before that we just have to activate the session here now here whenever user is getting logged in we have to create session variable here i'll come to user registration and inside this we have already created our session variable i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay if this is true then here i'm just going to activate that one and also from here i'm just going to get the output and also from here i'm just going to get the result okay i'm just accessing the username i'm storing inside this session variables okay this session variables will be very very useful because for login also we need if this user is active only we have to display that particular data to the user this session is very very useful okay if we are having some user then we are just accessing the username we are storing inside separate variable if this condition is true again we are accessing this one or else for this condition we are just accessing this one okay we are done with this login page next we are going to work on links and finally we'll be working on user dashboard page